Hello, this is Kurt Brown, also known as St. Rambong, and uh, I haven't put out a news post on YouTube lately. My uh, memory's been coming back from a stroke on some things that I think a lot of people would be concerned about. One of those things was uh, I was involved in something in 1983 that resembled some sort of nuclear incident in the Pacific Ocean. I was on the uh, USS Reed FFG-30, and... Um, I was a quartermaster, which works up top in the pilot house of the bridge, and uh, the captain and I saw a uh, large nuclear bubble come up on the left side of the ship um, near the, uh, we were sitting up near on the uh, bridge wing, or standing up there looking over the edge, the captain going out and I foolishly, as a quartermaster, or maybe as my job went out with him, and that's my nuclear bubble hit. And I'm not sure, but I know that later on we were on another cruise the next night, and I saw in the radar a cloud. Uh, I was told to get off of the um, off of the south and navigation equipment, and uh, so my job was navigation equipment. But people had taken over the ship. I guess I thought they were from D.C. or whatever. But you know, during a wartime of that sort, I don't say anything. But I did see a nuclear cloud, and I heard them giving out readings over the radio of the um, of what the Geiger counter readings were for the radiation. Um, they also were psychops were alleged in 1983. Um, I'm wondering um, if those psychops weren't used on much of the earth because my memory was knocked out and I was actually almost told not to discuss these things in a sort of silent way. It's weird. Uh, I guess um, I, my girlfriend saw a blast from my apartment window in 1983 and she described it to me. She said it looked like a curly Q. I was thinking maybe a sub had been blown up and it was in view of uh, LA Harbor. It could have been that a missile came down and hit something and blew something up. I'm not sure how far away it was or anything, but I do even seem to recall a blast. Also, um, uh, just a flash. Um, that I saw when it happened and uh, I had some discussions with people and they said it did happen. I'm just wondering if psychops weren't done on much of the west coast of the USA if not the entire earth in that matter. You never know. How do you know if you had your brains knocked out? If your brains got knocked out, you wouldn't. Um, but I had a stroke and I came back from it and uh, that was in 2001 or 2004. I had forced injections. I'd work in the banking in industry. Banking deregulation to me was where the US, uh, USA banking system was taking off, of, taking off of its own rails, meaning based on its own currency and its own assets, and tied into international currencies and assets in the form of, uh, in particular, stocks and large corporations. I think it was a very bad idea. I was a federal bank examiner after the nuclear incident. A regional director had been killed at the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation in 1992 in San Francisco, shot with his own gun, alleged suicide. I was hired in 1999 as a federal bank examiner for the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, and um, starting in Sacramento, and then I moved to uh, San Francisco office. And I also did some bank exams in Hawaii, and um, then I was uh, released or terminated from my job uh, and after uh, one year of employment. Uh, one year, I filed an EEOC complaint and they told me to drop the EEOC complaint or be terminated. And I said, well, let's sign up and uh, run with it. That's what I did. <laughs> oh, man, I tell you. Chewed out bubble gum if you go to work for the government anyway, particularly in some of those jobs. Um, that's, that's a smaller thing compared to the nuclear incident. Uh, I have tumors. Uh, I've had tumors cut off of my body numerous times. I had a huge one cut off of my leg. Uh, and um, I think it was about 1989. I've had another one here, and I've had, um, I might have another tumor in my testicles. If I do, I probably won't be alive much longer, so. Uh, that would be life, you know. Oh, man. In 1983, I arrived in California in Long Beach, Los Angeles. I went to work with the U.S. I was working with the USN. I'd come from the southeastern United States. I was a quartermaster on the newly released USS Reed FFG-30. And I met a serial killer named Randy Kraft. Everything's Randy with Kraft, K-R-A-F-T. 
who tried to kill me, or not, he didn't try to kill me. He tried to persuade me to drink with him, and then he tried to persuade me to get a hotel room with him. I'm glad he did not do either, because I think if you drink with him, you automatically were killed. But he was a vet, so he might have been knocked in his head too, or it might not be as alleged. He was allegedly killed 67 people. I met him in 1983 in Long Beach, California. Belmont Shores at the Yankee Doodle Sports Bar. Pizza and beer. I don't drink beer any longer. Uh, I don't drink alcohol. It burns the brain cells. And I did like the pizza. Um, I would advise you not to drink beer. I think it's a much harder drug than even marijuana. Maybe I'll start selling marijuana at Yankee Doodle. See what kind of crazy crap comes out of there. I'll probably bring out some other drug. I advise against all of it. Predatory capitalism takes money out of your pocket and makes somebody rich while they kill you. It's the nature of the predator. Who hit us in 1983 with those nuclear bombs? Psychops. I've imagined some amazing things. It was not that hard to, I think, to wipe out people's memories, perhaps even to stun them in a way. Goodbye, short-term memory. Maybe I was I had that stroke and they tortured me, so uh, that uh, LAVA Westwood federal age, federal government approved of it. Um, it was I think it related more to banking, and I'd had Sheriff Jack Tillman. A thief, sheriff in Mobile, Alabama. Uh, I was having him investigated because he was starving his inmates. Oh man, I tell you what. Stone cold in my electric chair, in my electric chair. I wrote that year, the, the year of the stroke. I'd forgotten I'd even had a stroke soon after. Weird experience. I remembered back to 2001, 2004, and then I remember back to 1983. And I started going back to my childhood and all that stuff. Really strange experience remembering things again. This is Kurt Brown, St. Rambo Mobile Audit Club. You can also see me on uh, various videos and websites. You have to remember I have had a stroke. Some of it's just fodder. I'd like to see us get off the planet. Rather than go to war, I think nuclear, any sort of nuclear usage is insane. The half-life of the radiation is usually very high to hundreds of thousands of years. And also whenever the radiation hits the genome or the, gen the DNA of a male, perhaps in a testicles or a female in her ovaries, the genetics malperfections are passed down to further generations. It is a no-win situation for all of humanity. I see it as a catch-22 by God saying, well... If you want to do it, you'll have to die through it. The fire that burns itself out. This is Kirk Brown, alias St. Ram, going, saying, love me, love me. If you want to donate to give me some money so I can have some surgery done, get these tumors checked out, and have this cancer that might be growing in my nuts checked out, I'd be glad to accept it. You can contact me just by looking at the email address at Mobile Audit Club, zkurt555 at yahoo.com. Or St. Rambone at Hotmail.com, Tom. St. Rambone at Hotmail.com. All rammed in together at St. Rambone. ZKurt555 at Yahoo.com. Thank you. Kurt Brown, St. Rambone, my ball, mobile audit club, coming to you with lots and knots and bad news on radiation. Be careful how much that seafood you're eating. They're not telling us. This whole world seems to be confiscated. Uh, I was thinking of Hunter S. Thompson today. He gave me a good laugh. I liked Hunter. He and I discoursed on the banking industry in 2004, and they say he blew his brains out in 2005. Of course, I'd been tortured over in Flagstaff, Arizona, at the uh, Flagstaff Medical Center, and uh, they got, I think I don't know what happened over there, but I described it to him as well. Hunter S. Thompson from the movie Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas and Where the Buffalo Roam. I fancied myself an investigative journalist at one time. Now I'm just a seeker of truth. A demon with no boundaries. A passion for love and lust. Kurt Brown, St. Rambo, Mobile Audit Club.